trillions and trillions of cells that make us up, that communicate with each other, doing a million different processes at one time. How do they do it? I mean, it's mind blowing when we really think of, you know, the tiny little cell, what they're capable of. Sandra Barrett is an educator, medical scientist, author, award-winning photographer, and author of Wine's Hidden Beauty, an exploration of wine as seen through the microscope in her new book, Cells in the Sacred, Dr. Barrett reveals the scientific, mystical, and spiritual qualities of human cells. My work is to bridge science and spirit. My biochemistry, my science background, has evolved into what I'm calling Cells in the Sacred. And Cells in the Sacred looks at what's the architecture of the cell? How does the cell work? How do we make that practical to ourselves? What are the lessons we can learn from the cell? And where are there any sacred teachings that the cell embodies? What do the cells have to teach us? From a metaphoric perspective, I can interpret again the structure, the architecture of a cell in sacred terms just because that's my inclination as a scientist who has straddled both worlds. The fabric of the cell is the place where energy healing can take place. It's the place where sound can influence. I mean, they're strings. Our cells are made of strings. So it's like now we have a place that we can understand, oh, the whole idea of resonance. Why chanting or singing or humming will make a difference because, oh, we have a structure here. So we have the scientific part of what builds our cell membranes and then how do we embody it to really get it and what can we learn in, for, in terms of our nutrition that would make a difference in the fluidity of our cells and how they function. Join Dr. Sandra Barrett for an exploration of healing with Cells in the Sacred at the Institute of Noetic Sciences Earthrise Retreat Center at IONS in Petaluma, California, July 8th through the 10th. Whoever takes this workshop, one will get an experience of the reverence for themselves. So a lot of it's practical in terms of, even if you didn't remember anything about the mitochondria of a cell, that you've got something you can go home with and learn about. You can do it every day, it could take you 10 minutes. Your cells are always in the now. What am I feeding them that take that put stress or anxiety on them? Come back to the now.